Hey friends, it's Brian. It's time for another HVAC video. Um, had some problems with the thermostat and the operation yesterday, so I'm going to work on the wiring a little bit. Um, I called ACIQ slash HVAC Direct, and they're just super busy. I guess everybody's trying to install an air conditioner, so it's taking their tech a day to call me back, and they didn't tell me that this morning. So make sure when you call them, if you do call them, ask them how long it's going to take them to get back to you so that you have reasonable expectations you don't get frustrated like I did. So anyway, let's get on with it. And remember, if you enjoy the video, remember to subscribe, like, and hit the little bell icon so you find out when I release new videos. And remember, I organize everything by playlists. So check out the playlist on my channel if you want to find the rest of the videos related to this project. So I'm installing a Honeywell T9. The whole system's powered off right now. I always recommend you power the system off when you're going to work on it. And the diagrams, so the diagrams in the manual are, you know, they go from crazy to less crazy, and they're not very descriptive, and the translation in the manual sucks, and that's the nicest way I could say it. It was written in Chinese and translated to English. It was not written in English. So, um, the T9 is a one stage heat, one stage cool with emergency heat backup. And that's fine. That's all I actually want to run this system in. I had it wired as a single stage heating and cooling non-heat pump system, and it doesn't say in the manual. So I watched another YouTube video that explained heat pump wiring. Now I understand what I did wrong. So we need to rearrange, or I need to rearrange some of these wires, and that's what I'm going to do now. I can't get the camera mounted close enough for you to see. So W is for uh, call for heat, and we're going to move that to OB because that's actually what we need. And brown is going to continue to be emergency heat because it's burning money. Green is fan. Uh, I'm using C. Or I'm using orange for my common and red for my 24 volt. These two are an AC pair, and then yellow is cool, call for cooling. Um, the wiring diagram in there shows OB. It appears to be um, an air conditioner that has the ability to reverse into heat. So you're going to see two kinds of heat pumps out there. There is a heat pump that can reverse into air conditioning, and that normally uses uh, one color. And then there is a air conditioner that can reverse into heating, and that uses the other color. And um, I want to say orange is a heat pump that can do cooling, and blue is a heat pump that can do, um, or air conditioner that can do heating. Don't get me the line. Um, you know, bottom line is I need to use the OB terminal, so that's what I'm going to do. So fortunately, this is pretty straightforward, except that the white wire was one of the first ones to go in, so it's one of the hardest ones to get out. But we'll get there. So we're going to pull this off the white. And remember, these can only be used so many times because they work hardened. So we got the white wire out. We're going to gently maneuver it to where we need it. And the wiring connector is just kind of in here. So then we're going to rearrange some of this and push it down and get it out of the way. And then we'll put the white wire into O, o and B. Because we're really using that for heating. All right, so that's one of our issues solved on this system. We'll just tuck that down there and snap that back. But first, I want to take a picture of this because I, I need to know how I did this. That'll save me having to come down here and look. So let's go up in the attic, because it's got to be nice up there. Okay, so it's really not too bad in here today, uh, considering it's 100 out or 96, which quite frankly might as well be 100. Hmm. 
let's see if this has anything useful. Nope. Nope. And nope. So, uh, I need to go get, um, I need to go get a couple things. I need some thermostat wire and I also need, uh, my flashlights. Okay. So I've got my headlamp and I've also got my phone with, uh, pictures of what I need to be doing. So, the way it's actually wired is right there. The way it needs to be wired is right there. And so I'm going to make these changes and see where that gets us. So, OB needs to be connected to B. E can stay put. So OB is our white wire that needs to be connected to B. And because the system refers to it as B, it means that it is a air conditioner that can run in heating mode. And for Houston, that's actually the right solution because we are a cooling climate. Now, if I was in Alaska, that's probably not how I would want to do it. And what my less educated uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not an engineer, I am not a licensed HVAC professional, but I am a code inspector, and I'm also a home inspector, so I do know a thing or two about this. I also have my EPA 608 and 609, so I'm good to do mobile and uh, um, small appliance stuff. <clears throat> but I think it has to do with duty cycle on the reversing valve. What you don't really want is a reversing valve that's running most of the time because that's just extra stress on it and everything has a lifespan, including the electromagnet that's in that coil. Now, one thing that I do like is, see these resistors here? Those are current limiting resistors that protect the electronics. So that tells me they at least had enough snap to put some some uh, safety gear in here. So there's some other weird stuff that's called for on here. Um, it calls for a jumper from W1 to W2, and I, I really don't know what that's about, but I'm gonna go ahead and install it. And that's what this additional wire's for. And wouldn't you know it, I need, I need wire strippers and I don't have them up here, so let me go get those. So I have, I'm actually laying next to this thing when I work on it. So that's my W2 terminal. And that's my W1 terminal. And because it's heating and my theme is white is for heat, we're gonna continue to use that. And I went ahead and made the jumper before I started the camera back on. I think you guys know what wire stripping looks like. I like to make my jumpers easy to manage. I don't see any point in making them tiny. Okay, so that's that. The next thing that this calls for is a jumper from dehumidify to red. And I don't know what that's about. You know, and it's funny, they show them as side by side, but actually they couldn't be any further apart. And this is one of these things that, honestly, I really wish this thermostat had a dehumidification function. Um, that was one of the reasons I bought the Goodman system. Humidity management is really critical in a spray foam home. But I'm tired of screwing with using the air conditioner to do it, so I'm going to use a uh, dehumidifier. What a concept. We'll dehumidify with a dehumidifier. I suspect that this is a normally open um, circuit 
And when it's closed, it means that dehumidification has been, been solved or satisfied. And so I think what happened yesterday is even though the call for cool turned off, the dehumidification was still on. And so the computer decided that it needed to continue to run the air conditioner in dehumidification mode. So it just turned the fan speed down and kept right on trucking. Now, I'd really like to see some PTC uh, current protection on these, but they didn't seem to do that. And PTC is a ceramic uh, fuse type material. So we're gonna, we're gonna terminate that there. But so I think this allows it to ignore the dehumidification. And that's, that's nice to know that it has a dehumidification feature. Um, I don't know that I'd hook it up to this and I don't know that I'd run it the way they're running it. I actually think I would run external dehumidification with the fan, but whatever. So those are the changes that needed to be made this afternoon to the wiring. So I think at this point we're good with the wiring. Um, I did a lot more research on this and basically the way this thing works is it's communicating with the black cable. Uh, where is it? Yeah, right there. So it communicates with the serial bus from the air handler to the condenser. And then it allows the stupid thermostat, which could be a manual thermostat, could be a programmable thermostat, Wi-Fi thermostat, Nest, which is a really stupid thermostat. Yes, I particularly hate Nest because it thinks it's smarter than you. But anyway, you, you can use a, a stupid thermostat and it just raises its hand and says, make it colder, make it hotter. And when it's the temperature it wants, it says, okay, I'm done. But anyway, it does call for cool, call for heat. And then the communicating balances the system demand between the air handler and the coil inside and the condenser outside. And that's really truly the best of both worlds. I, I am fully convinced this is where we're headed in air conditioning is internally communicating systems with external 24 volt control. The only thing that would make this any better if it was ethernet control, where we just ran an ethernet cable from here to the thermostat and the thermostat and the computer in here just talk computer TCIP, TCP IP. We're not there yet and there's way too much money in the way the air conditioning world works for them to do that. So we're gonna continue to see I mean, this is literally all the thermostat is doing is flipping a switch. A re, uh, it, it closes a relay, which signals to this to close another relay. And in a conventional system, it, it really just doing relay control. And the th thermostat is just an automated relay controller. It's like I told the guy at the supply house today when I stopped in to get, I bought some Armaflex for this system. Nice one inch Armaflex, I might add. And it's like I told the guy, if I wanted my air conditioning license, I could have it. Um, I do not want to work in attics. Um, I don't like working in the heat. Uh, so that's why I don't do this. I, if I wanted to be an electrician, I promise I could be an electrician. I'm well on my way to knowing what I need to know. And I've, I've done electrical work before. So anyway, uh, that's where we're at. I need to empty my little temporary catch pan. Um, that's how much condensate it caught after it shut off yesterday. I tell you what, it, it, it will pull the water out of the air. It's really, really impressive at that. Anyway, I'll be back.